it's the, the scholars of the past. One of the famous ones is Ahmad ibn Hanbal. You know, he is, they call him the Imam of Ahlul Sunnah. And such a giant of an Imam, some of the people in his madhab say that no one served the religion after Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu more than Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Because just in the days of Mihna, you know, for years he took imprisonment and house arrest, but he would not budge on his stance on the deen. So his fame and repute extended across the Muslim land. Everyone knew him, but there was no selfies in those days, you know. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't share a picture. So no one knew, few people around him and his students and the Ahlul Ilm knew what the Sheikh looked like. Most people hadn't seen him, but they had heard about him. So Imam Ahmad went on a, on a, on a travel from his city to another city. And when he reached that city, night befell him, he was in a masjid and he was trying to sleep in the masjid because in those days there was no hotels and things. You know. So the, the guard came and he said, get out, 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 out of the masjid. So he said, listen, I'm a, I'm a traveler. I don't have any way to go. I will just be here till tomorrow and then I will be on my way. So he said, no, 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 get, get out. So the sheikh went and sat outside the door. Can you imagine? This was a man, you know, who when he used to walk, hundreds would be walking with him and they would kiss his head and hold his books. Hey, Imam Ahmed was Imam Ahmed. Now he's sitting at the, at the door of the masjid. So he looks at him, he goes, didn't I tell you to go? He goes, I'm outside. He goes, no, get out. So he said, listen, it's just... So he said he dragged, he held the Imam from his leg and dragged him onto the street. Imam Ahmed. So, and the Sheikh, Subhanallah, you know. And when he's, he's landed in the middle of the road, across the road was a baker. You know, the one that makes bread. So the baker saw him and he goes, listen, uh, you know, he, he sees in him signs of piety and, and taqwa. So he goes, come here and sleep in, in my bakery like you know and I, I am I'm making the dough all night and fixing the bread because uh, for people will come at Fajr to buy but you sleep here as I'm as I'm doing my work so the Imam thanked him and went and laid down and but he's watching him that every time he makes the dough he says Astaghfirullah 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 and as he's making Astaghfirullah Astaghfirullah so all night he saw this man Astaghfar 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 so he went to him he goes for how long have you been on this practice? For how long have you been practicing this? So he said, for a long time now. So he goes, have you seen any benefits? Because no one can be so consistent and perpetual on dhikr and on istighfar and Allah not grant him some favor. So he goes, I've realized that whatever dua I ask, Allah grants me, except for one dua that he hasn't accepted. So he said, what dua was this? He said, I prayed that, Ya Rab, let me see Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and so far I haven't seen him. So the Shaykh said, he goes, Subhanallah. He dragged me by my feet to come into your bakery. Imagine out of my city into his house, out of his house when I was refusing, dragged me by my feet so that I could come and answer to your dua. فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا My dear brothers, Turn to Allah Rabbul Izza. Wallahi, I don't say this as a nice to say. Your refuge from every difficulty is Allah Rabbul Izza. Turn to Him with a Wallahi, turn once to Allah Rabbul Izza. And you will find your Lord more merciful and more accommodating and more accepting than the kindest of the kind of this world. سبيل مريح كان هدايا صحي كي تستريح وهو